All right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking this morning on Vion, where the hope for democracy in Maldives has risen as the opposition leader, Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh, has led, is leading in the island nation's third ever multi-party presidential elections. Saleh is leading with about 58.3% of the votes, with nearly about 92% of the ballots having been counted. Saleh ahead of the incumbent president, Abdullah Yameen, by a 15% margin. His claimed victory in the elections and the Moldavian Democratic Party has called the results as a moment of happiness, hope and history for the island nation. This is a moment of happiness. This is a moment of hope. This is a moment of history. For many of us, this has been a difficult journey. A journey that has led to a prison cell or years of in exile. It's been a journey that led to a complete politicization and breakdown of public institutions. But it has been, it, it's been a journey that has ended at the ballot box because the people will it. The will of people has spoken, and it has spoken decisively for change. The over 200,000 voters exercised their right in the high-stakes elections that has been keenly watched by countries including India, China and the United States. Remember, the polls took place amidst wide-scale allegations of rigging. Abdullah Yameen, who has been leading the island nation with an iron fist, had in the recent months jailed several opposition leaders ahead of the polls. And also the man who rejoiced the most at Saleh's victory was former president and head of Saleh's Moldavian Democratic Party, Mohammed Nasheed. While congratulating Saleh from exile in Sri Lanka, Nasheed urged for a smooth transition to power. I hope and I believe that the Sri Lankan government will engage themselves more robustly in the transition of power. We want to see a smooth transition. We do not want to see President Yamin back to his old tricks. However, fears of manipulation are still ripe as Maldives Election Commission has said that it will release the official results only by the 30th of September. In the past few days, the opposition supporters have alleged that the poll body was in fact delaying the voting, vote counting process to support Yamin's government.